Finally landed in Madrid after a bunch of travel. It wasn't that bad because we took like a sleeping pill on the plane. Actually, super worth it. We feel pretty good now. Como te sientes, amor? Ah, bueno. So this is actually my second time in Madrid. Just the difference in organization, the way the metro system is, all the buildings still maintain like this colonial architecture that is just so beautiful. This Europe in general has just so much culture and the architecture is just so beautiful, man. And I love how you can be walking throughout the whole entire city. In the middle of the city randomly, there'll just be like really cool monuments. Oh, plus it feels a lot safer here. I think in the metros you may get pickpocketed and stuff, but even when we were there, there wasn't like a ton of people either. And for the most part, the safety standards here are way, way better than Latin America. So walking around this like Central Park area in Madrid, I don't know what it's called, but I will find out for you guys. It always amazes me. Europe is so small, but so efficient that there's always big parks like this where you can walk around like right in the middle of the city. They're always so spacious. You just feel clean. They're very safe. Palacio de Cristal, right in the middle of like a public park that's free for everybody to go to. I freaking love Europe so much, man. <laughs> Something we noticed too that I thought was funny. My wife said that there's so many Asian people here, which makes sense because when Asian people want to travel, they usually go to Europe. She made a comment to me that she's never seen so many Asians in her life. We are in Plaza de España. Man, I love the public transportation in Europe, man. The public transportation here is so good. I don't know how they design these cities, but they just do it the best. I imagine there's quite a bit of people that live here, but it doesn't feel like it. You walk everywhere. It doesn't feel like ultra crowded. The public transportation always arrives on time. Look at that, this plaza, man. Big, open, people hanging out chilling everywhere i just absolutely love europe's public transportation system so efficient every time you need to go somewhere there are like three or four different ways to get there by bus or by metro or whatever just europe in general right because there's so many cultures languages and countries here they all have their own language and culture you'll be walking down the street and you can hear like five languages within the span of two minutes in the u.s if i were to compare it it's like a university city east coast city with how the buildings are and everything infrastructure in europe is so good and that's the biggest complaint that i have about colombia even though public transportation in Manizales is really good. In general, infrastructure is absolutely terrible and not efficient. Whereas here, it's the complete opposite. Efficiency is the way. I also just love the architecture. Everything from the parks, uh, the government buildings, from the historical landmarks to the apartments, everything. The restaurants, you can tell it has like an old traditional style, but it all seems w really well maintained. There's not a lot of graffiti everywhere, which is really nice compared to how it is in Colombia. There's also a really big food culture here in Madrid. It's very common where you'll see like tables on the outside outside like this whether they're out in the open or they're like in a covered space. Something that you're gonna notice right away about Europe is the style. Very, very elegant. A lot of the men are walking around in suits. The style here compared to Latin America is that the people here are a lot more thin. Everybody walks around everywhere. People are a lot taller. So you're gonna notice in the style that it's a lot more like form fitting. Even for my wife, because she's smaller and more on the petite side, it's easier for her to find clothes. They fit her a lot nicer because she's not like the typical super curvy Colombian girl, right? You'll notice in Madrid, it's like a very heavy restaurant city. I see this area Gran Via which reminds me of Broadway from Nashville. You're gonna notice that there are so many restaurants with super nice architecture and all different kinds of food. Well, I speak Spanish pretty well right but Latin American Spanish and Spain Spanish are two completely different beasts and so many times when people here talk they talk so fast and I can barely understand the accent. You know I'm so proud of my Spanish but they keep trying to talk to people it's really really hard to understand. I love food culture here in Spain. I love how they like taking their time. It's definitely a social thing. I think that's probably just like most of the world is like that actually because in America when we eat we're always just like on the move whereas here they really like to take their time and enjoy they have like the nap hour during the day so a lot of places will close during the afternoon and open again at night and then they'll all be open to late which actually makes a lot of sense and the ingredients here are very very good very high quality and not super expensive something that I love is public transportation to the airport man so good it's something that European countries have that other places don't so these European airports man like this one Charles de Gaulle in Paris they are humongous it's like 
four different terminals to go into a bunch of different parts. And I feel like I'm just constantly getting lost all the time, like trying to get from one to the other. Okay, so I also want to talk about like the men and the women here. My wife and I, we were talking and we were saying how the people here aren't ugly, but the men are definitely more attractive than the women. When I went to Europe the last time, I thought the prettiest girls were in Sweden and Italy. But here in Spain, the women are very, very masculine. If you ever look at like the Netflix shows and how liberal they are, I would say that's very similar, at least in Madrid. I don't know how it is in the other places in Spain, but I've heard it's like that in Madrid, in the UK, in the Scandinavian countries. Maybe in Eastern Europe it's still a little bit different, but I've definitely noticed that here. And you can even tell in the way that they dress, the way that they carry themselves, the way that they talk. The women are very feminist and they're very liberated, you know? So for better or for worse, it's really up to you. Obviously you guys know my stance on that. Meow meow. Meow meow. Meow meow. Meow meow. <laughs>